never had to play yeah. until one match into the winner's finals, I believe it was, and then in grand finals again. But That's I think crazy, man. overall, Dominion lost only two games that yeah. entire I, I kind of wish we could send three Dominions to SPO. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be my stuff. But we're gonna have Dominion and Adam. And again, Adam's a, he's a cool dude, you know, soft-spoken guy, plays t Hawk, so walks around with a big character. Let's see, I just don't, you know, I love Adam, but I don't think he's going to be able to... This is a hard fight. This is really, this is a skill match. Like, if you're good with this as a T-Hawk player, like, you have all the respect right. in the world. I mean, Guile versus Grappler has always been a rough so fight, but yeah. Adam's already in there getting That's in fun. his mix-ups. Got him in a corner, too. And you know, the key to these matches right here is not to focus too much on the grapples. Like, try to bait him. Wow, did you really punish the Sonic Boom yeah, in time with that? I didn't think that was possible. Actually. I know. <laughs> but, um, you know, the key is to learn how to use all your normal moves to get your opponent actually scared enough. Yes. So that you can SPD them. Right, and that's why you use a lot of pokes that uh, would uh, essentially stop them from jumping. You know, right. like uh, standing roundhouse is a good example. You know, like close attacks are good examples. Like, and that basically is it's covering your ground. It's stopping them from jumping. So then they say, okay, I gotta stop trying to jump, and then it opens you up to uh, you know grappling. I like nice. the patience displayed by Adam here. He can but still win this. He's got an EX Sonic Boom right now. Oh, oh, he just gets backhand. You know, he fought out of that corner the whole round. Yeah. And you know, I, I talked about this a lot. Every time I watch Dominion, Guile, the strategy is to push him in the corner so he has no more room to back off and, and, and control space. But the thing about Dominion, though, the mark of a good Guile player is how well they play when backed into the corner. Yes. And Dominion's Guile almost feels stronger when he's in the corner That's than when he's in the mid-screen. I felt the same way about Lamer Boy. Almost said he put himself in a corner just to simplify the match even right. more. Which is like, you know, Guile's already a two-group character. It's like, if you could <laughs> boil it down even more and you could fight out of a corner, you are not scared of anything. And Adam just went for a Hail Mary level three focus. Yeah. Oh. And Dominion is up back. He would have ate about four or five more of those and he wouldn't have cared. Yeah, especially with the, the especially with the life lead that he has right yeah. now. I always feel bad for Adam too because uh, every time he enters like TNTs, the uh, the local tournaments in California or NorCal, everybody counterpicks him. So basically his tournament life oh. is just Sagats versus Ryu's. Like oh. and that's all he plays, and I'm just like, man, this poor guy, like That's that's hard. That's hard. It's the life of a grapple. Oh wow, nice. I believe that upside down kick is considered airborne, so it cannot be thrown. Well, it, it can't be crouch tapped. It's like the big thing too. Right, right, and it's a frame It trap, might be able yeah. to be thrown, actually. Oh really? Yeah, okay, okay. It's just evasive uh, low. But don't take my word on that. <laughs> it's going very much how we predicted though. Great trade right there. That backhand. Oh. Yeah, Guile is just a tank. Yeah, Dominion, nobody uses those normal moves when you close in like that. Oh. He's so, so efficient. Calculated. Yeah, he is, man. And you, and you know what the, the best thing about it is, and I don't even know what the difference between them all is, but he uses like four or five different normal moves in those situations. Sometimes he's standing forward, yeah, sometimes he's standing fierce, low fierce. And he uses them all for very specific reasons, and He's the only one, I mean, he knows it because he knows his character so well. Yeah. You know? I mean, he definitely has a rhyme and reason because they're working. And he's oh, not yeah. just like, you know, fat palming <laughs> the, the joystick <laughs> and getting kind of buttons. Ooh! Oh, that was sick. Getting a free juggle yeah. off of that offensive crowd for our house. I think that was in your O to 2 a combo video. Right? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Nice dash scoot. That's what he should have been looking for a long time ago. But I think those backhands kept him honest. Ooh. Oh, dash ultra. That could have okay. been huge. Oh, wow. Yeah, so made himself safe and no punish. No. Okay, he's got him in the corner and he's got a life lead, though. But not if he just keeps taking these little tiny hits right now. Oh, that chop across the chest right there. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Wow. What is going to happen? EX is coming. Oh, oh he was going to land on the yeah, Sonic boot. So he was going to dive and just dived a little too short. <laughs> That's all right. Adam, you know, Adam put up a good fight. That was a good experience. Hopefully, you know, uh, hopefully he gets the experience he's looking for here at Evolution.